Friday, January 1st, 2016. So today is the first of the year. I actually don't know what's gonna happen with this vlog. I do know as I do want to start sharing stuff with you guys. I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing and gear review. Sony A6000 kit. Where is it? It's got the kit lens 16 to 50, f 3.5 to 5.6, silver version. I got this camera, ooh, Sammy's camera a couple weeks ago. There was a no tax deal, so I got it. Rodney that works over there, he is awesome. You should check it out. I will leave a link to Sammy's camera in San Francisco, up here probably, or down here, or in the comment section below, in the details. All right, let's unbox it. Whenever I buy something, I always leave the receipt in the box so I know exactly where it is. That's just in case if I ever need to return it, something goes wrong with it, I still have it there. Documentation, warranty card. This is when it comes to tech and camera stuff, RTFM, you should always RTFM. If you don't know what RTFM is, Google it. Camera strap, it's a piece of shit. Power brick, here with this, which is actually kind of cool because you can charge any USB device. Well, I shouldn't say any USB, you can power most US USB devices with it. But what's really interesting is Sony really cut the corners with this camera and they didn't give us uh, a battery charger with it. Okay, what else we got here? We got the USB cable, that's boring. Battery. That's upside down. Focus on the battery. Battery. The camera itself. Sony, again, is really cut in corners. No hot shoe cover. Why are you so cheap, Sony? These things are so cheap. What's it cost? Like 30 cents to make it and ship it and put one in there? Give us a hot shoe cover. Camera body and the lens itself does come with a lens cap. No rear lens cap cover, no body cover. So what I had to do is go online and pick up a rear body cap and a rear lens cap. It's cheap, it's about $5, but come on Sony, like, just include it. I'm gonna put the lens back onto the camera body. So the battery door opens here, really simple. Those of you who have never used the camera before, you can probably figure it out. Memory card, bought it separately, but most cameras don't come with memory card. I'm not hating on Sony for that. I forgot to mention also a um, little eye cup, but I was using it earlier this week and I lost it. It's one of the first things I always do once I get a lens, I usually get a filter for it. The lens thread is a 40.5 millimeter. I'm just gonna put this UV filter on the lens right away. It lets me not worry about the lens getting wet, getting dust, particles, cracking it, scratching it, all that stuff. So if I damage anything, I only damage the UV filter protector. So let's turn the camera on. The boot time is about half a second. It's a little bit longer than DSLRs, but it works and it's running. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna take some shots with it, and we're gonna check out the lens quality and how this thing works. Check out this sky right now. It's pretty. Sunsets in the sunset. That's awesome. Now the 24 megapixel APS-C sensor means it's a crop sensor camera. It's not full frame. 66.6% .6 of what a full frame sensor is. So that means it's a 1.5 crop when we put a full frame lens on it. Photos of people taking photos at sunset. Do you want me to take the photo for you guys? That would be really you guys? Nice. Yeah. I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Nice Margaret to meet you, and Todd. Todd. Hi. January 1st, 2016. It's the new year. And we are getting a really beautiful sunset. And I'm going to stop and take it's a photo gorgeous. for these guys here. Is that an iPhone? That's a Samsung? What is it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. no Samsung. Okay. Great photo. Oh, it's super zoomed in. So the secret to getting a beautiful sunset sky and you're properly exposing your faces yeah. is to turn a flash on oh, wow. on your camera. So Todd, yes. nice to meet you. And nice to meet you, Larry. See you again and, in the neighborhood. Thank you so much. Name? Margaret. Margaret, do I have permission to get you guys on video? 
Yeah. Yes. You okay. Do. Yeah. I don't oh. think we do anything super unseemly. Well, so. it's also like I make sure we I don't get sued. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. you. So why did I buy the Sony A6000? It fits in my pocket. 11 frames per second, high speed shooting mode. It sounds like a machine gun. Hashtag cloud porn. This camera has all the functionality of a DSLR camera in a small, pocketable, compact body. Full manual control, amazing low light capabilities. But at the end of the day, what's important about a camera is this image quality. We're gonna check out the image quality of this lens between 16 millimeters and 50 millimeters. Uh, this one, this is a Sony A6000. These guys just stopped to check out. He asked me what camera this was. This is a Sony A6000. What are your names? Hugo. Hugo and... Mark. Mark, I'm Larry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Have you guys on camera right now by accident? Yeah. So I want to make sure, do I have permission to put you guys on camera? Sure. Yes. Why like Sony? Be, why Sony? Um, this, is, this is the main reason is... Watch this. Oh, uh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, and so the because there's no mirror, it's mirrorless. It can shoot 11 frames per second. Uh, obviously 4K video, interchangeable lenses, 1080p video, and it's just light, like feel this, it's light. Like this compared to like a full oh, yeah. DSLR. And it's a, probably about the same price as your How much Nikon 3300. Five, 550, no tax at Sammy's camera. Electronic viewfinder, it's got a flash on it. I have three Nikon bodies, full frame bodies at home, and I don't even shoot them anymore. But did you recently get this? Just last week. Return it. <laughs> I shoot Nikon, return it. Let me show you something. I'm going to stop this video real quick. So we're done here. That's a wrap today. The sun has set. Ended up chatting with those guys who we just met. One really cool feature I had to mention here that the Sony A6000 can do, Wi-Fi connectivity. It allows me to send from the camera the image to a smartphone. If you tweet, Instagram, Facebook, blog, you can quickly get your image from the camera without using the memory card or USB cables via Wi-Fi to your smartphone or Wi-Fi enabled device. And that's a wrap.